The MTB Earth series is our take on BBC's Planet Earth, set in the world of mountain biking. With two successful episodes complete, we decided to take on a more complex concept for the third installment. The idea was based on the common story in the animal kingdom, where many species are competing for limited resources in an arid region. In our case, the hypothetical area is a trail network that borders an urban development, where three types of trail builders are attempting to share the space. Aside from the usual gags, the real hook of this episode was that Mark Matthews, our writer and builder, would be playing all of the characters. Not only did this mean that each character needed their own costume and persona, but we also needed shots with different builders interacting. To pull this off, we composited multiple marks into the same frame using a technique called rotoscoping. So we have the rule book builder who's like super nerdy, does everything by the book. The next personality is the flow trail rider. So there's like kind of a running joke in mountain biking in that trails are being dumbed down. Everything is too smooth now. Nothing's rough anymore. So this rider, like he builds flow trails, makes everything perfectly smooth. There can't even be like a single pebble on the trail. And then the third guy is the free rider. So he's more of the old school rider who likes stuff like more raw and nothing's groomed. And he just like goes full send mode, does everything and just like crushes energy drinks tosses the horns, and they're all kind of stereotypes of different types of mountain bikers, so we're kind of like making fun of each group a little bit. The first task was to get a thumbnail for the video. Mark switched between the three characters in different poses, and Jarrett captured the shots. Afterwards, he brought them into Photoshop to create the final image that would hopefully pique the interest of the viewer. When we think about these videos, we usually just kind of get together, the three of us, Jarrett and Mark and I, and we're just kind of brainstorming what's goofy, what's funny, what kind of fits the Planet Earth vibe. And sometimes we'll look at actual episodes of Planet Earth and use that as inspiration. Then we're just working through a script and we each write a script and then we kind of workshop it a little bit to get it to the place that we want it to be. And then from there, I'll come up with a basic shot list, which is usually pretty primitive. And then when we get out here and actually start shooting, we're starting to figure out some of the continuity pieces to make it all make sense in the edit and hope that we got everything and sometimes that means coming back and getting a pickup shot later on down the line but mark is leaving in four days so we are trying to get this all done before he is out of the country maybe sweep yeah. all that stuff forward so that it's on the trail okay we're rolling ridiculousness continues. So for this shot, he's got a wine glass full of nice perfect dirt he's swirling around and they're gonna have to do probably multiple takes. So I'm just getting some more sifted dirt ready. Super exciting stuff. Artisanal two out building. If I hold on to this too long, I'm gonna forget that it's dirt and I'm gonna just take a sip of the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's my wine. You can do the sniff and then just do the rest of the motion naturally. So you're gonna kind of sniff and you're gonna be like, kind of nodding like, oh, this is a good one. Yeah. And then you're going to flick it onto the burn. The <laughs> look on your face right now, <laughs> so pretentious. <laughs> yeah, something like that, but maybe, are you actually smelling strongly? Try that all together. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. I think that's the so best. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Mark has some natural acting chops, but helping him get into character and nail his mannerisms is a team effort. That was really good. Yeah, dude. Nice. nice one. <laughs> good work. <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> good actor. <laughs> nice work. Like this. And then, can you put the rolling pin by your right foot? Maybe. Okay, we're rolling. Awesome. Good, dude. Right now we are trying to get some of the shots where we're gonna have multiple marks in the frame. And so this involves having very consistent light. If there's any sun in the shot, it kind of makes it really difficult to composite in post. But we are getting a initial plate here where Mark is in the distance as one of his characters. And now he's switching costumes and is going to come in the foreground and be a different character and is gonna walk by the camera. And then once we get this back on the computer, we'll put these shots together so that there's two marks in one frame. 
there. That's I think good. That's pretty that good. was pretty sweet. Yeah. I definitely haven't done anything like this before where I have to be three different characters in one video. I think the outfits definitely help. Like when you're wearing what your character is wearing, it kind of helps you pretend you're that person a little bit. And we kind of make up like fake personas for the characters prior to shooting. So like we'll even like say funny sayings back and forth to each other and get your mannerisms down and just <laughs> the way you're acting in general. Pretty nervous. Are you ready to go, Steve? Pretty scary things to film. <laughs> so we've gotten most of the story shots we need for the video at this point, and now we're switching gears into getting all of the multi uh, characters in single shots. And so Mark is coming through the frame multiple times in different outfits, and then we're gonna stack all those up in post and do some creative masking to reveal different riders. All right, Mark, we're good to go. Okay, drop it. I consider myself a free rider more than any other like style of rider. So when I'm playing the role of free rider, I'm trying to look my very best on my bike and just being like super stylish and freestyle like. And then as the flow rider, I'm just really trying to ride smooth and fast. I'm more about like smooth flow than anything. It doesn't have to be the sickest style. And then the real book rider will just be like all stiff and out of their own comfort zone. Scott has to think about how the three riders are flowing through the frame from the beginning to the end and how they're interacting with each other. For me, the challenge is seeing all three riders in one still and thinking about where each one's gonna be. Right now we're getting one of the composite frames where Mark is going to be uh, jumping over himself. So he's the nerd character right now looking at his rule book, his code book, and then he's gonna transform into the free rider and do this again on his bike and hope it'll be a funny gag. This project ended up taking six days to shoot and a whole lot of time to edit. We're really stoked on the results and hope you'll check out the full film. Thanks for watching.